part of an image works for our, our goal or our intention and other parts do not. When you have, let's say, a foreground with buildings, but a background or a sky that's not as nice as you would like it to be, one very easy way to swap the background out is to use a layer mask. I've grabbed these two images here. I have a bright image of the sky and I have the foreground image of the buildings. Now, when I go to make a layer mask, I want to make sure that the part that is stationary, which in this case is the buildings, is what has the mask on it. And then I'm going to create a hole through it where I can see the new sky. But I want the new sky to remain a rectangle so that I can click and drag it side to side and position it so that the clouds are, in my opinion, in the most pleasing position. So when you're creating your layer mask, you want to make sure you have two layers and the layer that's going to have the hole in it that shows through to the layer below is on the top. So in this case, I need to move my sky image into the layer with my building. So I'll do Command or Control A to select all and then Command or Control C to copy. If you prefer, you could always do Edit, Select All. I feel like I'm, oh, uh, in Photoshop, sorry, Select is on. Uh, the select menu and then you can do edit copy. I'm going to go to the buildings images and do command or control V to paste and then I'm going to pause here for a second. Let's open our layers pan panel so you can go to the window menu and choose layers. Um, when you combine two images if the images don't have the same resolution, the image that you paste into the new document will accept the resolution of the current document. So before I do anything, I want to see how big this sky image is compared to the background. So I'm going to do um, edit free transform. That will give me a bounding box around my image and I can see that it's the exact size that I'm seeing. If for some reason you pasted your image in and you saw that the image was way bigger and it's out in the pasteboard, I would recommend dragging one of the corners down to make it smaller so that it fits just inside the area that you need it to fit. Now that we know that they're the same size, I want to reposition layer one, which is the sky layer, underneath layer zero, which is the buildings, because I want to create a hole through the building's image onto, through it so I can see the sky image. To create a new layer mask, you're going to select the layer you want to create a hole into and press the Create New Layer Mask button. By default, because I had nothing selected, it's white. And on a layer mask, white means I see what's on the layer. If you grab a paintbrush and you select black and start painting on the layer mask, let's make the brush bigger so you can see, you will create a hole through the back, uh, the sky in this case on layer zero that shows through to the layer below. The brush I have has a feathered edge and so in some cases manually painting the blue sky in might work. Maybe this is the effect that I'm trying to achieve. I want it to look like there's tons of clouds and then there's a bright blue sky breaking through. If you know that you want to remove the entire sky and replace it with the bright blue background. You should make a selection first because when you make a selection, let's make a just a rough selection as an example. When, actually hang on, I'm going to undo Command Z or Control Z until the layer mask is gone. If you have an active selection when you make a layer mask, so I have a, a selection, it's, it's a rectangular marquee, but it is a selection. If you have it selected when you create your layer mask, so you come down to the bottom of the layers panel and hit the Create New Layer Mask button, it will automatically keep what is selected and erase or make a hole through the layer onto the layer below. So knowing this, we need to select the houses so that we keep the houses and we remove the background. But when I look at this, I think it's actually easier to select the sky. So what I would recommend is let's go ahead and select all of the sky and then invert the selection so that instead of the sky being selected, we have the buildings. You can choose any of the methods that we've learned for selecting, uh, for making selections. I'm going to use the quick selection tool. 
I want to click and drag and with this tool you don't have to hold shift but if you hold shift it won't make any difference and I'm just going to try to slowly add to my selection now I've gotten too much but that's okay we can zoom in I'm gonna press the space bar to get the hand tool so I can pan we can come back and we can either use the option key to erase from the selection or we could use any of our other tools. I could use the um, rectangular marquee tool if I wanted to. And so what I would like you to do is slowly go across the whole image and I'm removing from the selection now this building. And so go all the way through the building. On the straight line it might be best to switch to the polygonal lasso tool. Remember if you're erasing from the selection you're going to press option Let's uh, move over here so you can see this. I want to erase all of these little marquees from the selection. So I'm going to basically select them because I am erasing them from the selection. And when I close my rectangular marquee, it erased it from the selection. We can do the same thing up here on this part, top part of the, the building. Now, if you wanted to, you could just erase that part of the image. It doesn't have to be part of the selection. But if you wanted to, to include this, I don't even know what it would be called, um, if you wanted to include this part of the building, when you replace the background, you want it to still be in the image. You need to make sure, so we'll start outside the selection, and you can click, click, click all the way around to make that selection. Now for time's sake, I don't want to go through this because the, the goal of this video isn't to show you how to make a selection. Sorry, I'm in the, the classroom and one of the printers woke up. What I would like you to do is go through and kind of make your own selection. And then for time, I'm just going to quickly clean it up. I'm not going to worry about it being perfect. I would want to make it perfect though if I was doing it for an actual project. Now with it selected, if I create a layer mask, we get the wrong part of the image, right? We keep the sky and we lose the buildings. So I'm going to undo that and instead of having the sky selected, we can choose select inverse. Now we have the buildings selected so we'll keep the buildings and when we create our layer mask, we will replace it with the sky. It is important that when you are creating your layer mask that the mask be on the sky in this example because I want to have the ability to choose the layer one with the blue sky and I want to be able to drag the image around to decide which part of the image I want to be visible in my finished design. If I was to create a hole just in the shape of the sky I wouldn't have that freedom. I wouldn't be able to move the bottom image around to get the part that I want to keep. 